Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and today we are going to be talking about the World Telangana Convention, which is going to be happening at the George R. Brown Convention Center on June 29th, 30th, and July 1st, 2018, in Houston, Texas. I have three special guests here. Uh, to my right is uh, Keshava, and next to him is uh, Shekhar Rao, and next to him is uh, Ashwir, who are going to be talking about the matrimonial section of the World Telangana Convention. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. Just give us a one-line introduction about yourself, then we'll get into the most important topic, which is the matrimonial segment. <laughs> Thank you, Nikanji. Uh, my name is Keseva Chakka, and uh, I made Houston my home since last 21 years. I live in KT uh, with my family my wife Radhika and my daughter uh, Sushmita who is working and my younger daughter Kirtana who is attending college. Hello, uh, my name is Shankar Rao Papa. I've been uh, in Houston for the last 30 years. I have two children. One of them got married and one waiting for one more to get married. Yeah, my name is Yashvir Reddy Kalyam and uh, I moved to Houston last year. I'm new to Houston, but for long years I was in New York, New Jersey area have two children, one son and daughter, both got married and uh, for retirement purpose I came to Houston and it was a good, great opportunity to serve this That's organization. Wonderful. It's a gentleman, you are watching Triple in the media, I'm Dr. Nick Nickham and all of our programs or our video streams through our YouTube channel Nick Nickham where we have more than 10,000 subscribers and 1,200 videos accenting our experience here in the United States. Uh, uh, Shankar, you said you have one more person waiting in the wings uh, yep. to get married, so this is the best topic we should be talking about. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm in, involved uh, in this. Wonderful. Program. Okay, let's start off with, uh, give us an over, overview of what this program is going to be uh, mm -hmm. for the youth who will be attending this program. Thank you. Uh, I think that's a good segue. Um, uh, before I start, you know, like I think uh, I we should thank the committee. Uh, World Telangana Convention Committee for giving us this opportunity to like you know serve on this committee. It is a great honor. Um, the the goal of the, our committee is to make the matrimonial program a key attraction for the entire event. Mm -hmm. um, the entire convention is going to be like attended by thousands of people, but we want to make sure that you know like as far as matrimonial uh, section goes, it becomes a key attraction, attracting you know like people with that need. Um, the reason why we I think you know like a matrimonial program is very key component of you know like any conventions that happen in this country is because mm -hmm. matrimony aspects of life is a little bit challenging for kids or for families who have moved you know like have moved here made this country their their home and people you know kids who are growing up here not only kids who are growing up is born and grow, grown up here but also mm -hmm. kids like people who are moving starting to. Uh, make this country their home mm -hmm. it's a fair faith, faith challenge so we are trying to uh, help them you know like in their need through this uh, convention and uh, what we are doing is i know like we have uh, different uh, cultures you know like when our the ways of behaving uh, yes, in yeah. back home and back here mm -hmm. so we are trying to offer a program such that it is a nice balance between you know like yes, both yes, cultures yes. and then you know like offers you know that kind of uh, respectful and sensitive you know like treat of you know with uh, people who are participating and uh, the program is designed to offer uh, you know like something for both parents as well as kids who directly want to participate in this program and uh, we have several sessions planned mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to explain what those sessions are that's fascinating because Cruz, uh, Cruz. as you said you know, our kids, we want them to continue our tradition, culture, heritage and all these things, but at the same time, they are exposed to schools and colleges, a quite different uh, ambience and atmosphere, so they are growing up in a different environment than we did, uh, and I think it's a great way to bring these people of uh, same frequency or same like-mindedness so that, uh, you know, it's easier to interact, communicate. After all, you know, we want to enjoy the life and the best way to do it is with people who have similar interests. Mm -hmm. uh, Shekhar Rao, uh, tell us uh, something about that. Yeah, uh, the, <coughs> as uh, Keshava mentioned, the program is designed into several sessions. The first one is just the icebreaker, it's a cruise. It is not a mandatory for everybody 
who is a prospect to bride or groom, but it is encouraged. After the crew, which is a cruise, which is on a day before, which is on Friday, following on Saturday, we'll start receiving more uh, profiles. First two hours, we will call this session as Parche Vedika, where everybody exchanges their profiles, then maybe <clears throat> talk to us and then explain everybody what they, in a briefly explain everything. That may take a couple of hours. We take 30 minutes break and then we will have something called singles mingles. Singles mingles is more like even more towards the uh, just go and mix, dip, uh, pick up a drink of water or a coke but no, no hot liquor and mix and talk. Everybody stays in the room, no outside and stay in that room for a couple of hours and just talk to each other, explain, talk, talk, talk. So that's idea is to make them talk to each other and then followed by some more sessions in the afternoon. Uh, subsequently, Yashwir is going to explain the remaining two sessions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We have uh, two other sessions following the singles mingles. Uh, it's called Pelli Chupulo. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, you know, olden days, like bride and, you know, bride group, they, you know, look at, see each other, talk mm -hmm. to them, right? In this case, uh, based on their preferences, uh, we arrange meeting. So wherein the girl and a boy and along with their parents meet, exchange their ideas, their family backgrounds and their interests, hobbies. They talk to them in a very cordial atmosphere in a private. That's what we arrange in a separate, you know, private place for them to talk. So that's based on their choices, their preferences. We do that. So after that, we have, you know, next day. That is, a, this happens on a Saturday evening. So on a Sunday afternoon, we have a vidukolo means a send off kind of you know say bye bye like kind yeah. of thing you know that's in a very um, this is what program is called you know we are having thinking about this that's fascinating and those people who are attending this program you know do they need to be prepared in any sort either the candidates or their parents so there are you know like and basically in addition to registering for the convention they have to register for a matrimonial session, which is, you know, like there is no cost to register for the matrimonial session. But what we are asking through registering is like, you know, getting their basic information about their themselves and then a little bit of details about what their requirements are. Yeah. Like, you know, what are, what are they looking for in their partner, either groom and bride or bride and groom. Mm -hmm. So that way it has our, uh, we have collected information that, that helps us, you know, like plan the programs. These four programs that uh, our committee talked about, they are going to be like, you know, very, you know, like very, very well organized, mm -hmm. you know, like, I mean, we want to leave, we want to make sure that people who participate in this program use a good experience. That's true. And uh, so, one other thing is, uh, we also are making sure that any information they provide to this uh, matrimonial registration is uh, sensitive. That's and true. then you know like and basically like you know we make sure that before sharing one person one family mm -hmm. information with others uh, there is consent you know like there is yeah. expression of interest and all those things you know uh, which you know like some of the see you know like they That's have true. a little bit of experience Shankar Garu has done with it and then Ashwin Garu so that is what about is there an age uh, yes the, uh, the when group we, when, uh, we when we get the profiles yeah. and the like interest and uh, during the first two sessions, they will explain. I will, I like to talk detail with boy one and girl two and girl five. Oh, no name, no names yet. That's the time we are going to have a detailed session, one on one, for five minutes, ten minutes, depending on how many, however many persons have the choice of interest. We will have a detailed session, one on one. That's the time we, they can reveal themselves the details. Personal details. We will not reveal personal details to anybody. They themselves will reveal to their respective persons. So you just sort of providing a very a venue environment and, and, and a venue tell them where people yeah. can safely meet and interact with uh, people Correct. of yeah. similar yeah. interest. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. After that, yeah. they are on their own. Yeah. Once they get their interest, we'll be happy. At the end of the day, on the final day, on Sunday, we we'll like to collect the data. If any success stories, all we need is count. Oh, five out of ten got some some benefit, benefit out of it. It would be a great idea to collect the data. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? 
yeah this very confidential cons- you know confidentiality is there we are taking the consent form you know with the consent yeah. center we also take the your opinion to where to share to whom to share mm-hmm. uh, taking those into consideration you know we are going to arrange That's the good. So meeting everybody feels safe safe yeah it's very yeah. Yeah. sensitive thing yeah no, we are no. making all sure that everything is protected right? it is yeah. only yes. we will provide the data only if they want us to provide otherwise data remains with us yeah. one part in that is you know like just for people who are watching tv at home so you know like you are still thinking about registering on the on the fence i think uh, as the earlier you register the better you know like the, for us to organize this event so i request you all like to make sure that if you are thinking about it register immediately and uh, registration for the matrimonial program is a must to attend the session so it, it, it cannot be like you, know, you have to register for this uh, for this matrimonial session to attend the sessions yeah so that keep that in mind and one other parting thought is for youth cruise uh, it is not directly linked to the matrimonial program it is an optional thing for people participating in uh, uh, matrimonial program can also consider going doing the cruise on friday but the age limitations and all those things are available on the website they can look at the youth cruise details you know so restrictions thank you gentlemen and uh, we have been talking about the world telangana convention which is going to be happening on June 29th to 30th and July 1st uh, 2018 at the George R Brown Convention Center in Houston Texas uh, and uh, we have also been talking about the matrimonial uh, segment of uh, the convention please do register uh, visit the ata convention.org and make your reservations and also register for matrimonial section so that uh, you can have a wonderful experience while you are here at the convention